So, I got something awesome in the mail. And the backstory on this guy's is, uh, I, I hunted all this past year with nothing but the saddle. I went through a couple of saddles and uh, when you're just going through like YouTube reviews, like you guys are probably watching this video now, or you're going through uh, just other people's reviews without being able to touch it, you kind of trust certain people's opinions and uh, sometimes your body's not the same as theirs. We had a demo day that was set up by Southern Public Podcast. It's a local podcast over here by me. And that was the best thing ever. We got to try on multiple saddles and to see what was more comfortable, what fit you in certain spots you're worried about, and if you're new to saddle and you wanted to try it out. So I got there and I tried a few things on. And my number one issue is uh, I got some hip issues sometimes with like from a car accident a while back. As sitting up there, I can sit six to eight hours, which is perfect amount of time sometimes, but. I want to sit longer and sometimes I just can't do it and I have to get a back brace up here but I feel like that band gets in the way of me shooting but I tried on the buzzard roof saddle I'm gonna open it and then we're gonna go over a few things and I'll tell you pretty much why I chose it you'll probably be able to figure that out while we're going over it but let's unbox it I'm excited But I had to pick one up after trying it out. We got a receipt. Of course, we got an awesome sticker. We got a few. Oh, we threw in a whole bunch of stickers in here for me. <laughs> That's awesome. I'll pass those around and stick them on everything. I love, I love me some stickers. All right. So we have. I got the ropes. And uh, he already just kind of looped them up for me, but I'm going to put those in a dump pouch later on. It comes with the poor man's ascender and the distal hitch, which I've been using the the ascender, the rope man one and two, and it's it's good and everything. But this is super silent. I really enjoyed playing around with this at demo day, and it really piqued my interest. And there's a lot of videos out there on how to do all this and a lot of other stuff. But it's silent. It doesn't cost as much as a $60 ascender. You get the rope and everything, not just the ascender. So you can always buy these separate two on their website, which is really cool. Or you can get the whole package like I did. And you got your linesman and your tether. And they both come with the poor man's ascender. And we got the saddle. Nice. Okay, let's. So the number one thing when I put this saddle on was the leg straps. Actually, um, that was the number one thing I noticed. And the leg straps has an awesome G clip, and all you have to do is squeeze, and it pops open. And then this is all into one, so you're not fiddling around trying to grab, trying to find your. You know it's attached to this rope. It's all into one. So I thought that was really cool. And you can detach the leg straps if you need to. They have, uh, if you're in the rock climbing world or anything, they have the hooks for you to descend with over here on the sides. Or it actually helps and they use them for the one sticking. And you have the Raptor belt buckle. Pretty nice, pretty quiet. Alright, so he sends them in all tied up and it's pretty easy to undo these. You just kind of pull this through. Once you pull that through, it just comes undone. And I'm going to use this as my tether on this tree, show you how it sits. I have it on my body right now, you guys can see. And uh, just do a little backyard review for this video. We're going to get out in the swamp on the next video. I'm going to show you how this looks and sits and some benefits, I think. And one benefit I didn't go over in the zoomed in is these two separate panels. Completely two separate panels. 
uh, two, it has a double Prusik tied into your bridge right here. And that's a poor man of cinder on your bridge. And completely separated means you can completely customize where the pressure is on your back. You can pull it up too and it feels real good on my back. And me being an old man, <laughs> um, not, not just kidding about the old man thing, but uh, having some hip, hip issues and stuff, I can't sit more than six hours in the saddle, it really helps put that pressure up in my back and my strong points and I'm blabbering. But, uh, let's get it up in the tree. We'll go over a few things. All right, so the cool thing about the poor man of cinder is you can adjust, you can easily pull down and it locks in. You can easily adjust, it locks in. Same way with up here on this one. You can lift up a little bit of weight, pull down like it's nothing. Go way back and pull up like it's nothing. Just like the regular sender, but you're not spending all that extra money on some more metal that can clink and make noise in the woods. So, so this is way super quiet. It's got the locking carabiners from Mad Rock. And it's, right now, it's actually pretty comfy. This feels like my regular saddle with a feels like my regular saddle that I had on before just a regular one but then you can pop these back pieces off right here extend pop them back in and then you can lift this up as high as you want I mean you can get it all the way up to your back and rest. Or if you get it to a comfortable spot, mine's about right here where I don't need the back band or anything. And you just then tighten those down. And you're good to go. You have your thumb loops for descending right here. And these thumb loops are also used for your leg straps. The leg strap is one big piece of material and you can completely remove it if you want. It's super comfy. Let's get her up higher so we can sit in it. Now this is this is just a backyard review on my old pine tree I got back here but we'll take it out in the swamp and uh, I gotta get some tree stands down so I'm gonna use it to get that down I'm gonna work her in real good before the season starts comes the airplane we're gonna go over the adjustability a little bit more in depth the adjustability on these loops if you just you need to stand up you can easily pull this up on each side it doesn't take much to feel a difference but see right now I feel a lot in this back and I pulled it way up and then you can go down to the bottom and pull that up all the way and I can feel it here too so it's digging in here and up here but you can really I always say keep them in the center to start because that's just evenly putting pressure all out through your body keep them in the center to start and then move this up and down if you can't find it then start adjusting these but right now it feels just great we're just in the center and just moving this back band up and down go check out these buzzardroo saddles at buzzardroosaddle.com